Hey guys, today we're on lego.com because lego has recently reviewed like a week ago the new 2024 lego friend sets and I'm sorry that I'm late to actually react to these because I was not free to do the reaction video so now I'm doing it now and here I'm on my local lego.com website which they finally launched which is so awesome so you can actually see my local prices and first up we've got one of the best lego friend sets ever released probably the best one and Lego Friends just keeps getting better. I don't understand how you do this, but it's so cool. So here's the Modern Mansion. I love this set. Let's take a look. So you can see, this is the Modern Mansion. It's it's Andrea's Modern Mansion. So as, like allegedly, she's probably a pop star by now. And also, we see later in the wave that Layla is the new pop star, which I think is pretty cool and quite expensive. $300, which is in Singapore dollars, by the way. And 2,275 pieces, quite a lot of pieces, but you know, a lot of them are big pieces, so I wouldn't say the value is bad. But you can see there's such a cool sports car here. We got Olivia with presumably her son, Leo. I don't know if it's her son, they don't confirm it or deny it. But here we've got that weird little parrot thing. I thought it was a baby, but it's a parrot, and that's Andrea with her family. And I love the garage doors as the blinds here, and oh, let's take a look at more details. So here's the interior of the set. Now, the interior leaves me a bit, like, you know, not 100% satisfied. I was expecting a bit more, but, you know, it's not bad by any means. The kids' bedroom is fine. Uh, this middle room with the portraits, I wish that was bigger, but there's an elevator there. And this is, like, a sorry excuse for a kitchen. That's not a kitchen to me. We need a bigger kitchen. Like, Andrea, do you cook? Do you eat? Do you buy back food or something? I don't know. And that is the weird parrot I was talking about. It's using the Sonic Bird mode, which is weird. I love Emma's new outfit. It's pretty artistic as well. And Andrea's outfit is also awesome. And her bed is cool. Now here we've got G1 over there. It's like some Korean pop star. And the piano is a bit small, but it's fine. I love the elevated wooden platform. And out there you can see they're eating macarons. Here's the car thing with a pop star. So definitely a pop star vehicle. And you can see there's like a weird feature where you can push, push out the car. I'm not sure if that was entirely necessary, but whatever. Here we've got the guest bedroom, which actually transforms from a recording studio to a bedroom. So that's cool. And yeah, that's the deck area. So not as awesome or a grand interior as I was hoping for, but it's fine. And those are new leaf pieces for the palm tree. Pretty cool. And here we've got the pool. I love the way that's designed because you can actually see, yeah, that's the handle. And that's the elevator. Yeah, what I was saying with the pool was that you can actually like pretend that a mini doll is floating in there. I'm not sure what the photo of that is. Yeah, it's here. And here we got Anam taking a photo of Leo for some reason. Here we got a picture of them enjoying their refreshments on their, I don't know, million dollar mansion, which is super classy. I love the build techniques. And these, this is like the first friend set that's truly advertised to teens because it's 14 plus and you know, this LEGO Friends set is aimed for its teens. You see the description, they talk about how this is a set for teens. And here I love that glass table over there. I have so many things to say about this set. But you know, I love it. And it has the new orange color. I love the yoga area and that's like a karaoke area. Yeah, just an all-around amazing set. Next up, we've got the shopping mall. We went through that already. So let's take a look at Ollie and Paisley's family house. Maybe this is my favorite set of the wave. Not to mention, oh, I don't know. I kind of toss between both of them because I love the set as well. This and you know, coincidentally, both sets were designed by West Talbot, which actually designed the L set. So I, I don't know. West Talbot is an amazing designer. Anyway, this is hundred sixty dollars, which is uh kind of expensive, but whatever. One thousand hundred and twenty six pieces. I love the design of this set. I'm glad they didn't actually feel the need to. Like, com like, you know, follow the style of the 4 plus set because to me, 4 plus sets are non canon. I don't know. They're always just really oversimplified to the point of like unrecognizability. Anyway, here we've got Ali's treehouse. Apparently, the treehouse is a shared treehouse. And here we've got nice grass area, some hopscotch area there. I love uh, Pacey's house. It gives me like a really retro vibe and it's just so stylish. And Ali's house is amazing too, but. The problem is that the houses, the houses doesn't have a lot of space in them. Like you can see, Ollie's house is pretty thin. But I mean, it's really better than most sets these days. Especially Autumn's house was very, very thin and didn't have enough space for detail. But these houses feel like they have 
you know, at least a bit more ample space. Now, I didn't feel like we need a toilet in Ollie's house because this toilet here actually seems like a waste of parts, in my opinion. Anyway, we got like a nice, uh, nice shelf there. There's no TV for Ollie for some reason, but I like this set. It has so many cool details. You can see they're having some uh, food there. And here are the secret plans that Ollie hides behind his bed for the Layla thing. And you know, I find it really funny because in Paisley's house, there's a TV sticker that you can't see in the promo pictures here, right here. It says, who is Layla with a question mark there with a reporter. So funny, funny how that is playing in Paisley's house and Paisley is literally Layla and they're watching TV about who is Layla. So that's crazy. Anyways, next up, we've got some of the less exciting sets in my opinion. You know, I feel like this wave isn't as, you know, mind-blowing as the other waves for summer were. Like, this is just like a, you know, a decent wave, pretty good, but nothing out of the ordinary besides the mansion. And here's a hospital, $160. I think this is a pretty good set. I l now I have warmed up to the color scheme, I actually really like it. And I love the elevator there, it's pretty cool. I wish there was a way to access the elevator from the ground floor directly there without opening the, the weird glass contraption for like the mini doll access. And I love the prosthetic arm. And yeah, I love this set actually, it's really cool. Helicopter is pretty bad, but the rest of the set is cool. Not much to say, just pretty nice details in general. I'm not sure what this stretcher feature is. Can you move it left and right? I'm not sure. Anyway, cool set, nothing much to say about it, love the elevator, yeah, and has the prosthetic arm, super cool, oops. Anyways, next set we have the Popstar Music Tour Bus, which $140, I think this is 85 euros, so yeah, very expensive set, I'm not sure if this is a justified price, considering the Friendship Bus had two levels, and that was 70 US dollars, I know inflation is a thing, but come on, this seems really excessive. But Leila's outfit is awesome. She's wearing high heels, which are a single piece for two shoes, which is cool. I don't really like the color scheme of this tour bus, to be honest with you. I prefer Livy's one by a long shot. I think Livy's pop star bus was super revolutionary and just overall cooler than <laughs> Leila's pop star bus, which is not as cool. But you can see it's basically the same concept as the Livy bus. I have nothing much to say about it. I wish she had more mini dolls, though. Three is a bit less. Like, it's just the friends. But anyway, you are meant to like simulate Paisley's transformation into Layla. So if you're into that, you can get this. I don't see the popstar sets really don't excite me. They're not that good. Not as cool. Like they don't have enough cool outfits like the old popstar theme. Anyway, next is the Farm Animal Sanctuary. $90 for 4 in 9 pieces. Um, not really a big fan of this set. It comes with a goat and all, but you know, just something like the organic farm we got. At least it's not overpriced and yeah, basically a shell of a barn design, not my favorite, but you know, if you like the set, that's cool. Next up, we've got the Mars Space and Rocket. Now, I'm not a big fan of the whole space sub-theme across different themes that we're having in 2024. I think that, you know, it's a bit too much space, right? I'm getting a bit of space fatigue, but you can see here it has a, you know, this Mars Space really doesn't excite me, like, I feel like Friends doesn't do space very well. I'm not sure if that's only me, but I really don't care for space in LEGO Friends. But we got the new mini doll space helmets, and the aliens are the same as the, you know, the city sets, and I love Space Kitty, but, you know, the interior of this space base is one not covered completely around, and pretty boring. Like, it's, you know, I know we get Olivia here, but I wish, you know, we didn't get, like, another space base for... Friends. It's just not my thing, but you know, you might like it. Next, we have the Pet Adoption Day, another overpriced set. Like, this should, like, you know, rightfully cost $30, but I know it comes with lots of mini dolls and animals, so maybe that's why they bumped the price up. It's $70 here, which is totally overpriced. But you see, this set doesn't have much going for it. It's basically just a bunch of stands and nothing much else. The stands have no, no interior detail or anything. Yeah, I love that. Uh, mini doll. Apparently she's albino. I'm not sure, but that's what everyone's saying. So, cool. I love the box art too. It's really nice. And you know, I actually once dreamt of a set for a pet adoption day, like a couple of years back when they had the girls on a mission episode about that. And I'm glad it ca it came true. But the set is not what I would have wanted it to be. I wish the stands were a bit bigger and more detailed. 
Now here I've got the vintage fashion store. These were one of the ones. This was one of the sets that leaked. And yeah, I don't really like this set too much. The color scheme is a bit too much for me, but $65, I guess. A bit expensive too, but you can see the interior isn't that good. It has, you know what, two levels. You know, Emma's fashion store had two full levels and was $30. So yeah, Emma's fashion store was way better value than this and looked better in my opinion. This set is just, oh, a Layla. Layla spray paint, cool. And for some reason, Leanne seems to be in love with Layla because there's a heart shape there. And, you know, Jordan, uh, Jordan is a recurring character, which is cool because she has a bit of LIGO. Anyways, not a very interesting set to me. Too many panels there. Yeah, nothing much that I want to highlight. It's not nice, in my opinion. You know, I'm a bit negative, but I'm sorry. You know, that I try not to spread negativity, but... That's just how I feel about this set, okay? Yeah, don't take it too seriously. You're allowed to love these sets. Anyways, here is the pop star show stage. It's very expensive, like ninety nine ninety. I know the stage doesn't look like much, but actually there is an interior at the back. But I'm not sure if it's the price is entirely justified. But here got Layla performing with her bandmates, and Andrea is the judge for the Helen show. So I guess this is before Layla's big break. But she has such a good outfit there with a cool looking electric guitar. And Andrea is like deciding whether to press the buzzer, golden buzzer on her. I don't know. But Layla looks pretty sick here. And oh, you rock. XOXO. That's cool. And uh, yeah, the backstage is pretty generic. Not very interesting. I guess this is like a video reject. That's my first impression when I saw this. I was like, maybe this was a set they decided to come up with video for video. But then they're like, oh my gosh, video terribly so we have to cancel the theme and they just pour this set to friends what do you think you know that might not be the case but that's why i like to think anyway here's the hamster playground i love this set it is so cute 30 dollars seems a bit expensive for me but i love the hamster balls even though they are apparently not good for your hamsters but they are so cute the hamsters look so cute in them and they i love the outfit on is that leah there? is that leah no it's jamila so i guess not Aaliyah, maybe her sister. And we got sunflower seeds there, because that looks like Aaliyah to me. And I like the giant water thing, and the slides are cool, but, you know, I don't see $20 value in this. Although it's a really cute set, I love the waterfall design there, and the big wheel. Such a cute set. I love the hamster balls. <laughs> anyway, next up we've got, hmm, the mobile bakery food cart. So, I won't go into these $10 sets too much. You can see here, it has a food cart with too many dollars. A decent set. I prefer the bubble tea van. Here is the hot dog food truck. Another 4 plus set. It has churro, which is awesome. And it has too many dolls there too. And this character actually is called Kaya. Which is funny because Kaya is like a jam spread here. But whatever. Anyways, she has two different colored eyes, which is cool. And yeah, this for $30, I guess that's fine. It's a 4 plus set. So I'll cut it a bit of slack. And here we've got the Helix City Hospital Ambulance. Now this is $60 here, which is totally unacceptable. That is freaking overpriced. So <laughs> I don't like that price, but the, the ambulance isn't very exciting as well. I'm not sure why they've got to put Coral on every vehicle they see. Why is LEGO Friends Helix City obsessed with Coral? And oh, she has a Layla shirt. That's so cool. Anyway, that ambulance doesn't have much inside. I think City does better ambulances. The color scheme isn't all bad, but... You know, the story is that Lian tripped over this, you know, she was teaching skateboard and she wasn't being very safe and the little kid fell down and injured his head. So yeah, that's why you need to wear helmets. But I don't know how he got injured when he's wearing a helmet. Maybe he wore a helmet after he got injured. I don't know. And anyway, here is the baby cow shed. Nothing interesting here, just the cow. So I won't talk too much about that. You can see that set. Is it 4 plus? No, it's not 4 plus. Here's the stargazing vehicle, which is another set that I don't really like. I think this stargazing thing looks a bit off and just looks like a movie backdrop rather than an actual sky. But I guess the gimmick is that you could adjust the constellations to, you know, if you're a space fanatic, you might want to do that. It comes with different planet prints, I think. I'm not even going to press this set because I don't have much to say about it. But that vehicle is okay. I love the 10 design. I mean, it's a clever set, but, you know, I'm not into friends' vehicles. I mean, I'm mostly into the buildings that friends does because i think they do buildings much better than vehicles that's just my two cents here's the horse and pony trailer another obligatory horse set that 
for the horse friends fans, I don't know. There's always a lot of random throw in horse sets. This is another four plus one. Very boring set. I don't have much to say about it. Horse sets just don't interest me at all, and they do too much of them. Here's the karaoke music party. Let's take a look. They're singing Layla songs. I'm not sure if they know that Layla is actually Paisley, but I'm assuming they do. But they do have a ticket to Layla's concert, which I think Paisley gave to them. And here, I like the design of that wall there with the translucent bricks. But you know, nothing much else going on in this set. I guess you could twist them around on the dance floor, but yeah, I don't know what I was expecting in this set, but it's just not my, out my alley, but it's cool. I love this set, you see, Cat Playground Adventure, you get two cats, too many dolls, a playground for $15, so 10 USD, very worth, very worth it in my opinion, actually it's 11 USD, but whatever. Anyways, here you got two cats, that's Ollie's cat, and a new, like, orange cat in the true mode, and he's smiling, so cute. I love these cats. I love the Captain Carn Adventure. <laughs> anyway, here's the electric car and charger. $25. Nothing interesting. Olivia's electric car did it way better than this set. There's a rehash of a old like concept for a Lego Friend set. Here's the farm animal vet cleaning, another full plus set. Kinda expensive for $48, which is a weird price that you know my region keeps getting weird prices. I don't know why. I got the baby goat, which is cool. And the mama goat, yeah, just a vet clinic. Seems like a facade and nothing much going on with that building. I wish it was an actual clinic, but this is just like a archway and a outdoor clinic. What happens when it rains, you know? Here's another set that I don't really like. The tiny accessory store. It just seems so plain. I know you get accessories, which are a rarity in friend sets these days, but you know, it just doesn't look very cool. I know it closes up, but just pretty ugly. And is that it? Oh, I think we went through all the LEGO Friends sets. So let me give you an overview of my thoughts on this January wave. I actually ki kind of like, you know, not super impressed by it, but I like it enough that, you know, I might actually get a couple sets, but you know, mostly the big sets are the best. But the small sets are kind of disappointing in my opinion. Like there's not many good small sets this year, like there was, I mean, next year. Then there was in 2023 where the Friends reboot really just blew everyone away. I like... Okay, so I basically my favorite sets are the Ollie and Pacey house and Modern Mansion. Yeah, the rest of the sets just don't stand out to me. And the Mars base is not my thing. And it's very expensive in my region for some reason. The $20 sets aren't very good too. The mini sets, which usually are standout sets, like the pancake stand from this year. Yeah, they're not very good in this wave. So overall, my thoughts on the Friends wave is mixed. But, you know, Friends is always awesome, so I hope they come up with some cool sets maybe in, in the summer, and hopefully more 14 plus and 12 plus sets, because those are the best Friends sets, like the Botanical Gardens. So more of those sets, please, LEGO Friends designers, you're doing super well. And this almost could pass as a 12 plus set, like, look at this set. The, the family houses, that is great architecture. Anyway, that's it for my reaction to the new LEGO Friends sets. Tell me what you think down in the comments below, and sorry again for doing this video so late. And this video is almost running to 20 minutes long, so yeah, if you watched until here, thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye!